Hello there, hi, good evening all. Uh, today we're, we're going to learn um, quadratic equations completing the squares method. Um, I'll put the equation up on the board which is x squared plus 5x plus 1 equals to 0. Okay, so that's the quadratic equation but this time it has a root so it's equal to 0. Okay, so this actually equal to 0 acts as a function so we can also say fx equals to y okay so when you put the input values of x you get the values of y so x is your input and y equals your output okay so also this part also acts as a function okay let's start by solving the equation but we're going to use the completing the square method Okay, now in completing the square method, we have a general formula which is x plus b over 2, the whole thing's squared minus b over 2 bracket squared. Okay, so that's the general formula we apply when we complete when we use the method completing the square method, okay? So in this case, we have to bring this expression in this format, okay? So what we'll have to do is, we can say x plus five over two, whole thing squared minus, because this is the general formula, general formula here. B will be five, over 2, the whole thing squared, okay, equals to minus 1. Because what we've done in this equation, we've put this plus 1 on the other side, which is minus 1. Now, this can be simply evaluated as x plus 5 over 2, again, squared equals to minus 1 plus 25 over 4, okay. All right, so we know if we solve this, we know it's minus four plus 25, that would give us 21 over four, okay? And this will be then square rooted. And this one will be left as x plus five over two, okay? Oh, that's clear. So what we do next, because we don't have enough space here. Let's bring this up here. Okay, so that's the quadratic equation. We break it down into this format and we further evaluate it. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bring this bottom part up here. So goes up here like that. So this will be x plus 5 over 2, just copying it again, copying it, sorry, it's 21 over 4, let's put 21 and we put this like over 4, okay, that's clear. So, mistake here. We put 21 square root here, because we know that 3 times 7 is 21. We put two here. Okay. So what we need to do next, let me just write this out as well. Let's make this up. Okay. Now x equals to minus five over two plus or minus root 21 over 2, okay? Now we'll have two equal roots in this case, okay? So x equals 2 minus, if you want to solve this, I'd be minus 0 0.21 or plus 0 0.21, okay? Yeah. Okay, because we have minus 0.21 and plus 0.21 here. So these two roots are equal. And if you were to draw a sketch graph, it would be a, 
a parabola shape. So it'd be something like this. For this expression, it'd be something like this. And because this is zero here, so this x equals to 0 0.2, 0 0.21 will lie somewhere here, 0 0.21. Okay. Now, we need to, um, you can also remember it in another way, um, such as b squared equals to 4ac. You can do this where a, where a is greater than 1. We know for a fact that a is greater than 1 because we can see that a, this is a. So here it's actually 1. Okay, 1 times x squared. And we know that ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. That's the quadratic general formula. And when you do the completing square method, you get the minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. 2a, sorry. Okay, so we know this is the par parabolic shape here, so it's a parabola, parabola, sorry. So you've got y here and you've got x here. Okay, now what you can do, you could, this is, this quadratic expression is basically functional, so you can make, make it function by putting the values of x, substituting the values of x and getting the values of y. So x, when you put the value, that's the input value of x. Okay, and the output value of y, just writing on the board, okay. So x can be, you can put 0, you can substitute and find the values of y, 1, 2, and 3, and you can get a parabolic shape here. But if you don't want to draw a sketch, you can still work it out uh, whether it's, um, whether the parabola is a u-shape, or whether it's an edge shape, okay? So I hope this lesson is useful to you. Yeah, um, that's it really. So um, yeah, please try this, you know, in your own free time. Um, substitute the values of x and find values of y. And this can, like this, function of x, okay? So when you, when you put the values of f1, x is 1, and then f2, yeah, so these are values of x, so, and you can find the value output of y, and you can go a sketch, okay, so, yeah, so I hope this lesson is useful, and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson, thank you.